Hey Internet! So, this week I've been playing the brand new and somewhat controversial Medal of Honor. It takes place in Afghanistan during the, the war in Afghanistan that we're taking part of you know, right now, where we have troops fighting right now. And you play one of our troops, you play either a tier one operator or a ranger at, at certain points and a helicopter pilot at one point. Uh, so this game takes place in a war that's actually happening right now where we have actual troops there right now. Hence the controversy. Is it some controversial, you know, un-American piece of trash that no one should play? Uh, or is it actually a lot of fun to play? Here's my opinion of Medal of Honor. This Medal of Honor game is a little bit of a departure from the other Medal of Honor games. Previously, Medal of Honor has only been a World War II game. This game, however, ventures forth into the land of modern warfare. What's interesting about Medal of Honor is instead of inventing a country like Blesblekistan and having a fictional conflict in there, this game actually takes place in Afghanistan. It uses real places and actual events from the actual invasion of Afghanistan. You obviously take the part of the American soldiers in Afghanistan, the tier one operators, the sort of Delta Force Navy SEALs guys. Obviously, the idea of a game taking place in a war that we are currently having has drummed up a little bit of controversy. Our next story, are video games teaching your children to become terrorists? To find out, we invited some eccentric nutjob from the internet to spew his hateful crap. Terrorism video game is all American and Obama getting back on a vote not eleven and the dial terrorists report the troops and took our doors. But despite all the hullabaloo out there, the game really tries to focus in and tell a, a compelling story that honors the troops that are actually there fighting. Gameplay wise, it comes with everything you would expect from one of these modern day shooters. It comes with all the weapons and the explosions and all that stuff that you would expect as well as a variety of different kind of missions, you know, where you're stealth or where you're sniping or you're riding ATVs and all kinds of crazy stuff. The game is pretty well paced, but it seems like most of the missions are hold off until some giant artillery strike or helicopter will come and save you. All the shooting and gunplay feels really great, and your AI teammates are pretty competent, you know, they don't get in your way, but it is kind of annoying sometimes that you need them to stand at a certain spot in order to lift you over a barrier or open a door for you that you can't open without them. In terms of the characters, it they don't really feel all that compelling. I don't really understand who these people are. There's even a point where you switch from one tier one team to another, and I didn't even realize they were different people. I just thought they were calling them different names. Also, the single player is really short, like four or five hours, so you don't get a lot of time to hang out with these people anyways to figure out who they are or feel any sort of compelling need to s rescue them. Although I will say, the way they handled the ending is actually a lot better than how I've seen it done in like Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2. Multiplayer-wise, it's sort of a hybrid between Battlefield and Modern Warfare. It tries to do both things, and it doesn't really do either all that well. It doesn't do the whole Battlefield-esque objective-grabbing thing all that well because it's, it, you know, the maps are just really small. And the, the gunplay is, is okay, but it's all very line of sight because, again, it, it's small. It wants to be Battlefield but in a sort of modern warfare shell and it just doesn't really work out. It just makes me want to go back and play Bad Company 2 and Modern Warfare 2. That's not to say that the multiplayer is terrible, I just feel personally that if you want to play a more Modern Warfare game, just play Modern Warfare, and if you want to play Battlefield, play Bad Company 2. That this game really doesn't capture both audiences all that well. Overall, I really have to say, the game is actually pretty good. It's not great, but it's definitely worth a rental. It's something that you want to at least check out and see if you like it. Ah, wow, that hurt. So there you have it. Medal of Honor? It's all right, you know. It's it's not great. Uh, it's it's definitely worth like a rental. Uh, checking it out. I don't know if it, if it's worth full price. Uh, it it tries really hard to be a a hybrid of you know Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield, and it just doesn't really work. At least in the multiplayer. I mean, single player is fun. It's kind of confusing at times of what's you know who you are and stuff. You you're not really the star of it. It feels like at some points. It, but the ending uh, was actually very compelling and heartfelt, uh, so, I mean, it's not terrible. It's, it's a really interesting game, I just think it's, it's worth a rental. 